What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. And in today's video, I'm going to be calling motivated sellers live in front of you. That's right. I'm going to be jumping on the phones, calling motivated sellers, showing you how I talk to them, how I close my sales skills when it comes to trying to lock up wholesale deals. This video is going to be very helpful for you when you are trying to learn how to start wholesaling real estate, when you are trying to start making calls to motivated sellers, because you're going to be able to see and learn from exactly how I talk to them and exactly what I say to these homeowners in order to get deals. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. But other than that, let's get right into it. So first off, I just want to give you guys something for completely free. If you want my purchase contract, my assignment contract, and my cold calling script for completely free, go download them at jacobblank.com slash free. There's a link down below for this, jacobblank.com slash free. Download my contracts and my cold calling script for completely free. So there's a free gift for you for joining this video. But other than that, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to get the dialer queued up and I'm going to start ringing them out, calling motivated sellers. So let's get right into it. All right, today I'm going to be calling cold call leads and um, and we're going to be calling uh, Facebook leads, people that have filled out a form off of Facebook on our website looking for an offer for their property. Those are the leads that we're going to be calling. I'm about to uh, click dial on the dialer and I will resume the video once we have a motivated seller on the phone. All right, so as I'm dialing these sellers, I'm going to just give you some advice when it comes to uh your call has been forwarded talking to motivated sellers voice message system eight and uh trying to lock up deals so one one six zero is not available at the time leave a message real quick record your message when you have finished recording you may hang up or press one for more options hey ted was calling to give you the offer for your property you filled out a form online i look forward to giving you the cash offer so give me a call back when you get a chance thanks I send him a text message. So some tips when it comes to talking to motivated sellers as I'm dialing these leads. Uh, there's the four technique. A lot of people struggle with building rapport when they get started. They just don't know how to conversate about things other than the house, other than business. And what building rapport is, it is conversating about things other than business. It's building a relationship with the prospect. It's building a relationship with the client, with the customer. And so in order to build rapport, you need to talk about stuff other than the house, other than business. And so you just got to talk about things in life. Now, there's a simple uh, tool that I like to use. It's called the four technique. And these are four things that you can talk about with anybody to build rapport. It's four, F-O-R-E, family, occupation, recreation, and education. You can talk to anybody about those things, okay? Another one of those tools is Ford, F-O-R-D. These are another four things that you can talk to anybody about to build rapport. Ford, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. Everybody has those. So you can always build a relationship by talking about those things. Let's keep dialing. Get, get a motivated seller on the phone, try to lock up a deal. But, you know, a lot of it's just repetition. You got to try to make as many calls as you can, talk to as many people as you can, and that's when you're going to get better. You got to, it's like a muscle. Your sales skills, your communication skills, it's like a muscle. You just got to work it out over and over again, and you will get, your skills will get stronger. So no answer from this person. Let's leave a message. Hello? Are you there? No answer. And it doesn't go to voicemail. So we're going to send them an email as well because their phone's not working. All right. So yeah, let me let me get somebody on the phone. On Answer the phone. Hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer yeah. for your property. You filled out a form online. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Yes. Awesome. For uh, Spruce Street, right? Spruce 
sure, yes. Awesome. So a couple questions for you while I calculate this offer. First off, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling the property? Yeah, because we're trying to move out of the area. Okay. All right. Sounds good. And then how old is the roof? The roof, I think, was just replaced five years ago. Okay. Do you have central AC, a central a HVAC unit? No. Okay. What What's the heating system on it? It's oil heat with an electric hot water heater. Okay. And the hot water heater was just replaced less than a year ago. Okay. And as the far furnace has been serviced seven years. Okay, as far as the interior condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape or could it use some some updates, some work? No, I mean everything's pretty much done. I mean, there's a from when the when the ceiling leaked a few years ago when the roof was replaced, there's a couple stains on the ceiling tile, but there's no ceiling tile there that could just be put up. Okay. As what type of flooring do you have in the property? Um, it's carpeting on almost every floor except for the kitchen and the bathroom. And that is vinyl. How old is that vinyl? The vinyl? Yeah. Um, probably six years. Okay. Uh, what type of countertops do you have in the kitchen? Are they laminate for Myco or are they granite countertops? Yeah, they're laminate. Laminate countertops. Okay. How much are you looking to get for it? 45. Okay. All right. Let me see what I can do for you. How long have you been looking to sell for? Or is this just a... determined that we wanted to sell this week? Okay. But we, we need to go because I'm having an opportunity for work. So I'm trying to, to do it as quick as possible. Got it. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, I know we had a couple people today tell us that they'd be working on 51 to 53, but I'm just not trying to hassle or, or just go back and forth. We're looking to get 45 just because that's just where we need to be. Have you gotten an offer from a company or no? I had an offer for 51, but there were some, I didn't, they didn't seem professional like you do. So okay. I just left it go. <laughs> 51,000? So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, it's 2,250 square feet, the lot, right? The whole lot, yes. The, the interior with the basement and the attic all together at the space. The attic is partially finished. It doesn't take much to finish that up. So roughly with the attic, about 1,500 square feet. Without it, about um, 1,150 square feet. Okay. How many bedrooms and bathrooms? It's got one toilet in the basement with the, where the washer and dryer is. Okay. And it's got a full bathroom on the second floor. It's got two big bedrooms with one walk-in closet. And again, the attic was starting to be remodeled for another okay. room. So there's definitely room for another room. Okay. Okay. Um... Right now, looking at it, I, we're going to be closer to like 30, I think. But let me let me do some final math. One second. Um, yeah, we'd probably be right around 30. What do you think about that? I think that you're about... Uh, my my midpoint wasn't the lowest I can go is thirty five. I can't go for less than thirty five. I can't because the house sold for the house sold for thirty five thousand back in two thousand and fourteen before the roof was replaced and before all the updates were done. So and with the way that the market has increased over the last ten years, I mean, I think thirty five is very reasonable. I just again we're trying to sell and yeah, I think the most the absolute most we could do then, would be thirty thirty two thousand five hundred. That's like the absolute so if you most. You can get the thirty-five. Let me know because we'll let it go immediately. Because I, I need, I need the amount of money I need to put down on another property. I'm on, I'm able to get to where I got to go and stay somewhere for two months. But I'm using this thirty-five thousand dollars as a deposit on another property. That's why I need to get thirty-five plus your location. So 
So that 35 puts me where I have to be. Not that I don't want to be. 32.5 probably sounds great. But I need to go where I need to go, and it's going to cost me $42,000, and the 35 is what I need to make it work. Got it. Okay, well, uh, how soon do you want to get it closed, and how soon would you be moved out? Like, uh, If user agreed both to 35000 we could take care of it within the next two weeks. Okay. I don't think we can go higher than 32500 honestly. So think about it and, and let me know. Um, do, do you have a, could I give you the rest of my information? Do you have a pen and paper handy? So that way you can I'm get back to I'm driving right now. You have my email attached to it. And okay. then again, don't take this. Listen, I really want you to have a house. And I'm not, I'm, I know everybody wants to sell their house and everybody has to read the plot. I just, I can't be less than 35. It just can't be something extra. I really so want to buy it from you. Um, but I just think at a chance, if I, if I did 35, I think there's a chance our company would, would come back saying no on it. So I want to make sure we're at a price that's for sure going to work. And I don't think any more than 32,500 will work. All right. Well, you have my email, Jeff. Send me your information and we'll talk about, again, I, I'm, try to get, try to get closer to 35 if you can. Okay. If you can call me back and let me know. All right. Sounds good. Thank you and so much. The other thing too, is that I really don't want to take a chance of, of nothing going to either. I mean, there's, there's a clean deed on the property, the title's clean. I mean, that's, right. That's, that's why I can't, I, I can't do 35 because there's a chance like it won't work out. That's why I'm confident at 32,500, but any higher than that, I, I don't think, I, I don't think it's going to, you know, considering, you know, the property does probably need a decent amount of work. Uh, from the math the house, I just I, ran. I live in the house right now. The house doesn't need any. I well, live... it's outdated. For us to for us to make a profit, we have to fix it up and make it, you know, nicer. All the drywalls done. All the walls are painted. The carpet was replaced a couple of years ago. The vinyl in the kitchen and the bathroom have been done. The jack deck on the house is probably ten thousand dollars. All right, I'll have one of the other guys take a look and see what he thinks. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep, and I'll get back to you. But uh, I emailed you, yeah. and and I'll see if he thinks we can do thirty five. I'll let you know. Thank you. All right. Bye. Yep. Bye. All right. So I'm gonna just pass it to one of my sales guys for a second opinion since it's close. That's one of the things about wholesale and real estate and acquisitions. Sometimes you want a second opinion, you know. That deal, it's a small town. So, you know, I'm just trying to get it lower than anything else that's sold in the area. The lowest sale is 40000 So if I get it, you know, decent amount lower than that, I, you know, it'll look promising to cash buyers when I send the deal out to try to sell it. So... We'll go from there with that one. Uh, not the best for sure. So let's move on. Too small of a town. A lot of these Facebook leads that we're getting, we're doing nationwide. So we're getting leads that are in big markets, but we're also getting leads in very small towns, very rural markets, and they don't always work out. So, because they're harder to sell. With wholesaling real estate, it matters if you have buyers. If you don't have buyers, you don't have anybody to sell the deal to, so you're not going to make any money. But let's keep calling. Someone texted me back that I just tried to call, that they'll call me back in the morning, that they're in meetings. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a no answer. We are going to double dial. You always want to double dial. Two, two dials every time. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voicemail. We're going to leave a message. Goodbye.
It didn't let me leave a message. We're going to text them. And then we're going to move on to the next lead. And we're going to keep calling. This guy just filled out the form two minutes ago online. See if he'll pick up the phone. Hello. Nope. We're going to double dial again. We're not on a multi-line dialer right now. I'm actually just dialing them one by one, these new leads. But this shows you the importance of a multi-line dialer. Hello? Um, multi-line dialer calls multiple people at once, feeds you the people that answer, so that way you're not waiting around for somebody to pick up the phone. Uh there's many different ones out there. There's a link in the description for a multi-line dialer. And there's links in the description for every single tool that I use for wholesaling real estate. So make sure to check out the links in the description. Um, we're going to go ahead and shoot this guy a text because he didn't answer. And we are going to move on to the next lead. So this lead came in 13 minutes ago. Another thing with real estate wholesale acquisitions is speed to lead. As soon as a lead comes in, as soon as a motivated seller lead comes into your system, you want to call that lead as soon as possible. So, hello? Hello? hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online. Do you have a second to chat? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. So for, for 800 North 26th Street, um, I'm sorry. is that right? Yes. Awesome. So, so, uh, a couple questions while I calculate the offer. First off, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling the property? I've been here too long and I'm ready to relocate. Okay. All right. Relocate. All right. Do you know how old the roof is on the property? Um, because he had a roof put on here when he was living. So, and it was eight to nine years. Okay. Does it have a central AC unit, central air conditioning, or no? Yes. Okay. How old is that AC unit? Maybe five years. Okay. As far as the interior condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape, or could it use some work? It could use some work. Okay. Is it just outdated? Yes. Okay. How much are you looking to get for the house? Well, the estimate value I got was 76. Where did you get that estimate of the value from? The PDA courthouse. From the courthouse? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, so that estimate doesn't necessarily know the condition of the inside of the property, you know? Uh, like that, whether, you know, what shape it's in, it's kind of just an estimate. It's kind of just a math algorithm that runs to, to give that. Uh, but let me see what I could offer you. Okay. So the, okay. those estimates aren't always the most accurate because they're just based off of sales and then a math equation, not necessarily that that, that equation doesn't take into account the interior condition and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. How many bedrooms and bathrooms is it? Three bedrooms, one bath. Yeah. Okay. Now, if we were able to make you an offer you liked, how soon would you want to move? Between one to three months. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
How's your day going so far? Oh, honey, it's good. How we go? Pretty good. Actually, a pretty good day. Mondays are usually pretty stressful, but today was a walk in the right. park. Today was a walk in the park, so that's not bad. Not bad Monday. Right. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, run my mask here real quick. Okay. We'd probably be around forty two thousand for it. Um, What'd you say? I don't want to go that. I don't want to go that low. What's the best you'd consider on it? I mean, they are going for like between seventy six to eighty two, but. With new flooring, new cabinets, new appliances, new paint, the whole inside, new bathrooms, the whole inside of the property has been redone when they're getting between seventy six to eighty two thousand for them, and they're selling them on the market for that price. So they've got closing costs and commissions coming out of that. So you know they're probably right. walking away. They're probably walking away with like, you know, plus their repair costs probably. 10 15 grand they're probably walking away with 50 in their pocket so i'm not much you know 50 they're probably walking away with 50 55 in their pocket after everything's said and done with what they have into it and the cost of selling it and i'm not too much lower than that my offer of 42 is net to you in your pocket as is condition we cover all the costs okay what do you think? We'd be able to get it. We'd be able to buy it from you in one to three months. I mean, before Say that again. I have been off. I have been off steadily for the past. You have an offer for what? I have in the past been off of steadily. Seventy from an investor like me, or from somebody like local in town that wanted it. They're not local. Yeah, well, they might want it just because they're, you know, local and they're like, oh, we've been wanting this house. I liked it. It's great. It's been driving by it for years. You know, one of those scenarios. Right. But as far as an investor, no investor is going to give you probably 70 on it. Okay. How, how far off am I from you? What's the best you'd do? I would not... 17 off of it. You'd knock 17 off? Uh-huh. So that means you're saying 59,000 for it? Is that right? F yeah. 59? I could probably, the, ma the most I could probably go up to, if it is in good shape like you're saying, like 48,000 would be the most. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Okay. So what about what about if I did fifty? That's still knocking two thousand out. Yeah, well fifty is the absolute highest. There's no way I could get higher than fifty. Okay. No interest in fifty? No. Okay. What any would you consider anything less than the fifty nine or no? No. No. Oh. I'm, my house is on the corner. Right. And it's got a big yard. It's got a shed. It's got a garage. I'm leaving all the appliances, stove, refrigerator, deep freeze, uh, entertainment center. Okay. So, yeah. What What about? You know, I'm not really sure. I don't think we could do this, but I could always go to the back office to the finance department and see if they'd be willing to do it. If if somehow I could swing 55, would you even consider that? I would think about it. Talk to my kids about it. 
Okay. So there is a couple other decision makers. Your kid's going to be involved in the decision. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to talk to them and then I'll get back in touch with you. Okay. If we can do the 55, okay. but, but keep me in mind, take down my information, save me. I'm at, you know, I think we could do 50. So, um, save me in your phone. Okay. All right. All right. You have a good night. You too. Bye. Uh, I'm going to pass that to one of the other guys to take a look at it. One of my sales guys, uh, second opinion, but, uh, they're going for like 95, a hundred redone, you know, it probably doesn't need much work cause it's small property. It's under a thousand square feet. So maybe like 20 K to redo the inside. Cause she said the majors, the roof, the AC are in good shape. So, you know, I don't know. So it might be something there, but I think 55's pushing it. But all right, let's keep calling. Let's see here. All right, we're calling. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, get on the dialer now. We're through all the new leads. Let me call some stuff that came in this week or last week that didn't answer the phone uh, and try to get one of these people on the phone. Should be able to lock up a deal today from these leads. So hopefully we can get somebody good on the phone. That way I can uh, show you what it looks like from answer to end on the phone one phone call locking up a deal so let me jump on the dialer one second all right i'm on the dialer now so we should get people on the phone much quicker your call has been forwarded to an automatic voicemail voice system 818 keep going And guys, if you made it this far into the video, I'm going to be giving you a free gift. Go to jacobblank.com slash title, jacobblank.com slash title, and you can download a nationwide investor-friendly title company list. So if you've been struggling to find title companies- The call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. If you've been struggling to find title companies that are good to work with when wholesaling real estate- Free gift, go to jacobblank.com slash title, download my nationwide investor-friendly title company list for completely free, jacobblank.com slash title. And by the way, there is so many resources for wholesaling real estate available at jacobblank.com, so go check it out. But we're dialing, let's get somebody on the phone. Hello? This person cannot be reached at the moment. Voice Please send a message after the tone. After you. Hello. Hi, this is Joshua. Hey, Joshua, calling about the offer for your property. Um. Oh yeah, Joshua. Hey, how's it going? Going good. Sorry, I'm just on the on a dialer system right now. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back on those things, and I should have an answer for mm -hmm. you tomorrow by noon, okay? Okay. All right. Sounds great. All right. I'll be in touch. You have a great night. Thank you. You too. Yep. Bye. Bye. Sorry. That was somebody I'm already talking to. He wants... 5,000 non-refundable earnest money on each property, but he has two properties that look like a decent deal. So I'm just trying to make sure it's something that we'd want to contract because, you know, there's a lot of risk there having to put non-refundable earnest money on the line. Hello? Hello? Oh. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. Do you have a second to chat? Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, you filled out a form online a little while ago for an offer a um, couple questions for you while I calculate this offer. Um, first off, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling? 
we're trying to get a house because I want something with a bigger yard. Okay. Is this a mobile home? Yeah. Do you own the land? No. We okay. Do rent the land. Okay. Unfortunately, we only buy them with the land. I wish you the best, though. Okay. So, a lot of times you'll get mobile homes where they don't own the land. They're in a park where they rent the land. It depends on the park. Sometimes we're interested. Sometimes we're, most of the time we're not. And that location, that park is definitely one we're not interested in. Hello? Hi, it's Michael. I have to tone. Leave a message. I'll call you back right away. No answer. Let's keep going. Get somebody on the phone. So yeah, uh, see now we're on a multi-line dialer. Hello. Hey Ron, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. Do you have a second to chat? Uh, yes, I do. Awesome. I'm trying to figure out which one is still is. Awesome. So we actually spoke about the property on Rock Hill a little while ago, um, and I made you an offer for it. Um. And you said you were going to talk to your wife and think about it. Um, just following up with you, did you get a chance to chat with her? Um, no, I haven't because uh, she went straight from work and going to see my mom at the hospital. Okay. So I've um, been waiting for her to have a chance to do it. When she come home, she got a shower and went to bed. So. Okay. Yeah, this was like four days yeah. ago. Um, do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember what I offered you? You said it would be two, 208 or 210. Yep, right there. Yep, that's right. 28 to 210. You think you'll be able to talk to her today or no? Uh, yeah, because she's supposed to be coming. Uh, what time is it now? Uh, so she should be here on about 830. Okay. All right. Well, uh, either give me a call back or we'll, or we'll chat tomorrow. Give me a call tomorrow and let me know what she's thinking, um, and then we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Sounds good, Ron. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep. Goodbye. So, okay. So that is one that I already made an offer on, um, like a week ago. And, uh, he's just got to talk to the wife. So got a multiple decision makers. That's one thing about acquisitions so call has been and making calls call like this. You need to pull out zero. all the decision makers. Because if if there's a hidden decision maker, they could blow has been up forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. If there's a hidden decision maker, they could blow up the whole deal. So make sure you pull out all decision makers, make sure you get everybody on the same page, and that is how you will get a deal. If you're talking to one person, they're ready to sell, but there's another decision maker and they, you know, pump the brakes, you could lose the whole deal like that. You reach out a cell phone. Leave a message and I'll call you right back. So make sure make sure you're trying to sell everybody. Make sure you're trying to make it a deal for everybody, a win-win situation for all decision makers. Make sure everybody understands the process, all of that. So that way, everybody that's in the loop on making this decision to sell the house is a yes. Green light, yes, they're all ready to sell. Bingo, you got a deal. All right. We're dialing. Let's get somebody else on the phone. Not many people picking up. We're going to redo it. We're going to recall the thing. We're going to recall all of them. Sometimes you just got to keep recalling got to get these people on the phone it's the name of the game if you you know a lot of people are like i don't want to blow up people's phones I, double dial right after one call again right one after the other that's wrong but man you're never going to get deals if you're not willing to blow up their phone 
It's just the reality of this. And, you know, we're working with a lot of people that are in a distressed situation. You know, they might not be able to pay their mortgage. They might not be able to pay their bills and they've got debt collectors trying to call them. And so they're not answering their phone. So you got to call, 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 try to get them to pick up the phone. You don't know what some people are running from that aren't picking up. You know what I mean? You know, that are in these situations where they got to sell fast. They, you know, their phone bill might be out. So you just got to call, 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 call. Um, and again, it goes back to the speed to lead. The first person to lead is going to lock up the deal. The sooner you get to the lead, the better chance they're going to answer, the better chance you're going to get the deal. And so you got to get them to pick up the phone. So you got to dial multiple times. And when the when you get these motivated seller leads, hit them from all angles. If you whatever contact information you have, you have their cell number, you have their email, you know, leave voicemails, text them, email them, call them, hit them from all angles, get these people to sign a contract with you, you know, get these people to communicate with you. That's how you're going to get deals. So Go. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight one. Voicemail. Let's get one more motivated seller on the phone for this video. One or two more. Let me let me go back to here. I'm gonna call some other people. Let's go back to here. All right, and we're dialing. Property? Hello, are you there? Yes, is there a recording in progress? Uh, yeah, the, the, the call does get recorded. Um, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. Do you have a second to chat? Sure. Awesome. So uh, you filled out a form online looking for an offer. We spoke, oh, we just spoke a little while ago. I'm sorry. The 32.5. Yeah. Yeah, sorry for calling yeah. you back. Um, think about it. I sent it over to the other team member. He's going to take a look, and uh, we'll see what we can do, okay? All right, so listen, if we stick at the 32.5, are there any more negotiations? No more negotiations. All right, and then what is the process? The process looks like this. I'll send you over um, a one-and-a-half-page one agreement. It's like one-page agreement, as-is purchase contract. Um and uh, we'll get that signed. I send that over to the title company. Uh, yep. You'll send us pictures of the property for the file. And then pretty much we just wait till the close of escrow, um, whatever date that is that you that we pick. And then on yep. that day, the title company is gonna draft up closing documents. You're gonna sign closing docs. I'm gonna sign closing docs. Our company will wire the money. And around, yep. around noon, the transaction will record with the county assessor. And then the title okay. company will disperse you your payment via a check or a wire. Okay. So typically from start to finish, what's the time frame? Usually, okay. usually we like to schedule for 21 days, but, okay. uh, but we can get it done a little bit quicker than that. But usually we like to shoot for 21 days. Okay. All right. So I have your information. I will give you a call back tomorrow afternoon after we discuss everything. Okay. Would it have to Thank you so much. We, there's no money. There's no money out of pocket on our end, right? No, we cover all the closing costs. The offer is net to okay. you. The only things that are going to okay. come out of the offer is if you owe any taxes or mortgage or liens or encumbrances on the property. No, there's none of that. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, I right. appreciate it, John, and uh, look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Sometimes it calls the same people because I'm now in the dialer and sometimes it doesn't update and it'll just feed me the same people we just spoke to. But so that's what just happened there. But it sounds like he's going for the 32 500 now, which is the most we can pay. But it's a small town, so it, it, it's going to be tough to sell. But sounds like he's biting at it. So hopefully him and the wife agree on the 32 5 and we can lock up that deal. 
tomorrow. All right, let's get one more seller on the phone and then I'm out of the office for the day. I'm going to go to the gym, get a workout in, but uh, see if we can get one more person on the phone. Come on, let's get somebody on the phone. Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online for the Washington Groves property? Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, we actually spoke a day ago about it, um, and I offered you 180. Um did you think about the 180 anymore or? You spoke to me yesterday? Yep. Courtney, I right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, offered you awesome. one, I offered you 180. You have it, you had it listed with somebody and you said the lowest you do is 200. Yeah. I mean, I still kind of, at this point in the game, I really can't. Do, do less than 200 so all right yeah, well uh i can't really i can't do 180 just yet i mean i'm not saying i might not get desperate down the road but uh i can't do that yet okay all right well i will follow up with you okay okay thank you all right you have a good rest of your day you too bye bye All right, let's go. Let's call some more people. Hello? Bro. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property. You filled out a form online? Yeah. Awesome. So for the property in Arlington, a um, couple questions for you while I calculate my offer. First off, is there any particular reason why you're interested in selling the property? I'm relocating to Tennessee. Okay. How old's the roof? Uh, the roof is about... Not hardly a month old. Okay. What type of roof is it? Shingle? Yeah. Okay. Do you have central AC, a central air conditioning unit, or? Yes, it's got a split unit in it, yes. How old is it? Uh, it's not too old. I just repaired it, so it, it, it all worked good. So. Okay. As far as the interior condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape, or could it use some work? It needs some work done to it, but it's not, it's not nothing major, it's mainly just painting. Okay, how much are you looking to get for it? I'm asking 58 for it. 58. Yeah, I think we'd be a good amount lower than 58. Um, We'd probably be closer to like 40 on it, max. I couldn't take care of it. And it's a little bit too small of a town for us. Yes, I don't think it's ideal for us. I wish you the best, though, okay? All right, appreciate it. Yep, bye. All right, so that one's just too small of a town by far. The population is probably, like, under a 1,000 people. So that one, that's why I kind of just shot it down quick because we're not going to be able to sell the deal. There's no buyers there. It would take forever to sell the deal. It's just not a good market. All right. I think that's it for this video. We're going to wrap it up. We had a couple of good calls. One that led to a good offer made. Um, nothing too great. We didn't send any contracts out. 
Um, we didn't lock up a deal, but we did have a few good conversations, which is good education, good training for you watching this video. So that being said, I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, there's links in the description down below for every single tool that I use in my business when it comes to wholesaling real estate. Also, there is a bunch of resources at jacobblank.com. So make sure to go check out jacobblank.com. But other than that, I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me reach more people and impact more lives. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.